Hey y'all, it's Leanne, Small Town Stitches, and I'm back. I know it's been a little bit, about three weeks, but we're back. Um, we have quite a lot to talk about. So I hope everybody has been doing well and um, enjoying summer, because summer is finally here. Um, it's my favorite season. If it could be summer all the time, I would be a happy girl. Summer slash fall. I like fall too. Um, I don't enjoy freezing. I like the way s the, the snow looks on like Christmas morning, but other than that, mm, 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 mm. So, uh, yes. Yeah, so why has it been three weeks? Well, for one, it is summer. Uh, we are outside way more than, um, you know, obviously when it's cold, I'm already getting, getting a tan going on. Um, and hopefully today uh, it's going in way late, especially when you live in Michigan and your growing season is not very long in general. My plants are supposed to be, hopefully, depending on the weather going in today, we have to go pick up some topsoil. We put our raised beds together. Um, the soil at my house is horrible. We've tried working it for about five years and it's just very clay-like um, to the point where it gets like rock hard no matter what we've added and it just chokes the roots. So raised beds are the ways that we have to go at my house right now. Um, so hopefully those will be going in this weekend um, so I can work on that. We've got, let's see, if everything comes up, that's the other thing. Cucumbers, cherry tomatoes, um, like the, the beef stock tomatoes, um, sugar snap peas, regular peas, beans. Um, what else am I missing? Banana peppers, hot peppers, um, <laughs> green peppers. I'm trying a lot, so yes. And then um, I tried to film last week for over an hour and a half. Didn't work, kept saying my phone had run out of storage and it said I, most of them were apps and I had deleted most of my apps and it still said it was apps. So I switched to our computer and it was a very crappy quality, but I tried to do it on there and upload that to YouTube. Well, after two days, yes, you heard me, two days, I just canceled it. So we're here to talk. It's been crazy. My daughter finished kindergarten. I took last Wednesday, her last day off, and we went with friends of ours and did putt-putt and got ice cream afterwards. So she doesn't really understand why mom's still working. I don't either, but you know. So I had to explain to her, the only people really who get the whole summer off are children and teachers. Everyone else is still forced to work. So, yes, we'll go more into life story afterwards. But let's talk some stitching. So we have to end our um, Mayfly May count. So as you may remember for Mayfly May, I was doing full coverage May. Again, I didn't get as much progress because it's getting nice outside. Um, I ended May with 6,421 stitches. 3,228 of that was on Firefighter. Crazy. So, let's get into it. Um, let's just start with the fan favorite. Now, we have a lot because it's already 12 days into June. And I have actually stitched my daily 100, which is what Bonnie and I are calling it, on it. So, I already have over 1,200 done just from June. So, Let's get it out. I will try to insert. It's still on the hoop. I just finished today's. I actually have to leave to go pick up groceries here soon, but we're trying to do this, y'all, because I doubt it will be able to happen this afternoon. <clears throat> so this is where it was before. And here we are now. So much progress. I believe last time I was way up here, so we've done a bunch. We're all the way down here now, and this is a page break down here. We only have mm, 
one, maybe two lines left to go and we hit another page finish. So we hit page finish number one in May and it looks like we're hit, hitting page finish two possibly in June, which would be so, so exciting. So I would like to have four pages finished in 2021. If we get more than that, that's, that's awesome. So this is where we are now. I'm always amazed at the detail in this piece. Um, so like I said, this is the mini, so I can only imagine the detail and the full coverage. All right, this one has to go back downstairs because I have to work on it tomorrow. All right. So then I decided to do a new start on World of Neptune, which was my new start. This thing is going to be huge, but the colors are beautiful. I only got 439 stitches done on it. So the big thing is, if you remember a couple videos back, I showed you that organizer I bought for my floss. And it was working great, but I have two dogs one of them is a larger dog and uh, she would definitely knock it over. So um, it, it almost has to be stitched at the kitchen table so it can be sitting on the table. Um, and I think that's why I didn't get as much progress on this. So I showed you a piece, a picture of what it's going to look at like, and it was a new start, so I don't have a lot. But this is where we are. That's it. I love the colors in this piece, but this is where we are so far. Definitely not interesting. <laughs> I think that's like a 0.01% done. And I did decide to make a bag for it. This was my first final bag that I ever made. And I used the Elizabeth Ann Can Stitch um, tutorial. So this is the bag that I made. I love these. So I just did an ocean inside and a sea turtle and then I used the outside fabric around it. So I love it, it's so cute. So sea turtles and dolphins are my favorite, especially favorite ocean creatures. I like sharks too, I just don't wanna come face to face with one, you know. All right, so then we hit, um, when did we hit that? About May 30th. I was kind of getting a little burnt out from just doing full coverage. Um, so I decided to pull out my piece that was closest to a finish, which is Love By You from Hello by Liz Matthews. And... I hopefully have a picture of where this was last time. If I do, I'll insert it. And I finished it. Here it is. Is it so cool? So again, it's gray tan two, I believe, from To Die For Fabrics. And I used um, Midnight Teal by Victorian Model, which I had already had. So it is completed. I love it. Love, love, love it. Um, I'm not sure if it's going to go somewhere downstairs or like in our bedroom, but yes. So I have a finish. And that took 591 stitches to get it completed. So after that, um, we... I worked on that for the 30th and 31st and finished it on the 31st. So then we're into June now. And so far in June, I've worked on Firefighter, which you've already seen. But the next project I pulled out and I wanted to finish, my next closest to a finish. And that is Glendon Places Monster March. I am doing this version in the called for colors. Um, I will see if I have a picture of where this was the last time you saw it. All right, let's get this all prepped. It's not ironed, 
typical Leanne. You ready? I'm so excited about this one. There she is. It looks so cool. So I'll bring it up so you guys can see all the mummies and the border. So yeah, so when I picked it up um, to finish it, I had, I was like down here with the border. So I just had to take that border all the way up and then do the bat and it was completed. So I love it. I love it. I have two finishes, y'all. I don't think I have anything else that close to a finish to bust anything else out though. I just was enjoying stitching on other things. All right. So I finished that in two days. Uh, that was 648 stitches. So the next I decided to work on, it. I was missing this. I needed to bring it out. There's so many other ones I want to do, but I promised myself I have to finish one first. I should have done that with the Heaven Earth designs. But this is Crossword by Long Dog Sampler. I will see if I have a picture of where this was the last time you saw it. And here it is now. Again, it's not, it's not ironed. So this one was a little bit of a pain in the butt because I had made a mistake last time when I worked on it, when I was up here on page three, but I didn't know where my mistake was. So I just put it away. So the first time when I got it out, I had to frog. And you, it was, the mistake was on one of these blocks. So what it was is this was, I'm trying to remember, a stitch, I, I don't remember. This was off by one. This was off by one. So the tail of my R was connected to this border, which, do I have another one? When you have another R, they have to be the same. So I had to frog this line all the way down and some of this, this was also off by one. So I fixed all that and then I continued to work down. So I fixed the E and the R, both of those had to be restitched. And then I fixed this problem and I have continued to work down. So I put actually 1,061 stitches on it. I took a week, a whole week and worked on it. I started it last Saturday, so. I'm super happy when this page is finished. I'm on page six, the project is gonna be finished. So I actually have quite a bit of fabric left over from this. So if you guys are interested in stitching this, it definitely, this is a fat quarter. So it'll definitely, definitely fit on a fat quarter. So, so yeah. Super, super excited on that piece. And that is all of my stitching that I have done. What is that? One, two, three, four projects, I think. Two, three, yeah, four projects. So, not as fast moving as you would expect in three weeks, but I kind of switched my rotation up. So I'm kind of enjoying stitching on a piece longer, a longer period. So right now I'm giving them a week. So, oh, my, my grocery order's ready. So that's where I'm at. My next piece that I am going to bust out. So it'll be Next, it'll go from today till next Friday. It's going to be frozen by Donut Stitch. So I'll show you guys where it's at. Just to give you guys a glimpse because it's been a little while. It's super wrinkly. But this is frozen. So we are working on my second to the last page. So that's where it's at right now. So that'll be what we're busting out. All right. Let's talk haul. I don't have a lot of it. Oh no, back up. Let's talk crochet. Um, I'm behind on most of my blankets. Summer stitching, don't want a giant blanket on your lap at night when it's 90 degrees. Um, 
but I have quite a bit of progress to show you guys since last time. Um, last time I showed you, I can't remember. I didn't go back and watch my last video. I want to say I had March, April to do on my treehouse knits um, blanket. So I've, I don't remember. I could be misspeaking. If I am, I apologize. But I added those. So we have the dark purple is January. This darker version is February. This lighter version, which basically is a lighter colorway of the darker. This is March. This is April. And then this is a bonus color. I just thought it was beautiful. So I'm adding it in. So this is the Treehouse Knits blanket so far. It's pretty. It is pretty. Um, which segues into haul. So, um, I've been kind of torn because the pictures that she's, the Treehouse Knits blanket is posting are not what I would expect. Um, so for, I'll just show you. So this is May's, um, color of the month. It's like a dark gray pale blue color with just like flecks of pink. So the picture that was posted with this yarn was a beach scene. So in my head, I was thinking blues, maybe a couple flecks of tan because you had the water and the sky and stuff. And this is what I got. So I'm a little bit bummed. Um, I'm 100% transparent on this channel. So um, because it's not what I would have expected from a beach, right? And especially when it's not a stormy beach. Um, and then the other thing is a lot of the colorways for this blanket, they're kind of the same. Like, hold on. You see what I'm saying? Like March and this one. So this color will go right on the other side of this. Um, so I was kind of battling with myself over that. And I have chosen to not buy the yarn of the month for June. Now, before y'all start hating on me, um, the June color is supposed to be bright blues, which is totally my alley. But that one I expected to be bright blues too because of the ocean. But she does so many beautiful yarns. So I kind of made my own yarn of the month um, and just figured I'd go from there. So I did buy two different skeins from her and I will just add to that blanket with those. I don't know why they're being shipped individually. I bought two. So I'm gonna have to email her about that because I have one on the way and the other I haven't heard anything about. So we'll have to see, like everything in life. All right, so now I have my May Bumblebee Acre colors, which are my um, my Hogwarts Order of Magical Makers and my Lord of the Rings. So I'll start with Hogwarts. And I'm always so impressed with these coloring. So this is our Hogwarts color. Give you a second if you can guess who it is by the way it looks. Um, it's called Umbridge. Everyone's favorite person they love to hate, including me. So this is what it says. This month's colorway is inspired by a character we love to hate, Dolores Umbridge. This kitten and pink loving evil character does not deserve a colorway this pretty, but her color palette does kind of have that feminine flair. If not, maybe a little too pink. This colorway is a splashy base of pinks and mauves with golden brown speckles. So it's beautiful. And I get it on a squishy DK. So I need to add this. I still need to add April's. I'm behind on my blankets. So that's our Hogwarts. And our Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings has been very muted up until this point. So I opened this and my jaw dropped and I was like, oh my God. So this is our Lord of the Rings. 
that is so bright. You got some bright lime green with some black. And here is our button. And it's called Paths of the Dead. And it says, the way is shut. It was made by those who are dead. And the dead keep it. The way is shut. So that's our, it's going to be this huge bright pop of color on the Lord of the Rings blanket. But I'm so excited. So these are my May from Bumblebee Acres. All right. Last bit of haul is my silk and fabric of the month from May from Be Stitch Me. I know I'm behind. You guys have probably already seen these already. Um, but technical difficulties over here. So these are my silks. And the silk pack was Phoenix. So we have two different shades of orange, a variegated, which this color is all of these into one. So those are my silks. And then the colorway was Stonehenge and I get a fat quarter or I just get a, yeah, of um, 18 count Ada and the neutral club. So this is it. And I love this. It is so beautiful. And I am really gravitating towards hand dyed fabrics that are not crazy modeled like I used to. So this is right up my alley. So I really like it. All right. And that is my haul. We, I don't know how I've done three weeks and I haven't, I'm only at 21 minutes. So yeah, so I'm gonna continue on with my um, daily 100 for firefighter. I'm going to work on Frozen for this next week. Um, and maybe get some crochet done, I don't know. I need to get this garden planted, I need to do laundry. Um, I need to go pick up my groceries. So yeah. Um, so work. Um, one of our coordinators, we have two of them quit. She decided to go back to school. So good for her. Crappy for us. Um, so what they did for right now until they find someone else is split her job between the other coordinator and myself. So she has been working from home for over a year. Um, and so the other coordinator is absorbing her. She would call all the new patients and schedule them. She's absorbing that. I'm absorbing the 800 line. So any calls that come in throughout the day automatically go to me now. Before the coordinator would get them and kind of direct them where they needed to go and I would only get the medical questions and then of course I have all the NP questions coming or calls coming to me too. I get everything now every hospital phone call, every patient phone call, every question people are curious as to what what the program is and stuff. So my day went from being busy to just, I'm about ready to throw that phone off the wall, off the window, because it, it's the point where I just can't get my stuff done. So um, we are still doing COVID clinics. Um, I can't really help with them right now because I can't leave the office. So when I took Wednesday off, the other coordinator had to okay to get the phone line transferred to her for the day. Um, it's just a madhouse at work right now and uh, I need a vacation. Um, they are going to the Tigers game today, it was yesterday, today, and tomorrow where they're doing a thing where I guess if you are not vaccinated and choose to get vaccinated they'll give you two free tickets and you get like a $10 Meyer voucher gift card which Meyer is a, a grocery store so um I I can't, I can't do it so um I told them I couldn't do it um I, with stuff we have going on this weekend Plus, we weren't getting a break from that, so we were expected to do our five days in the office and give up our entire weekend to do this, and I just couldn't. Mentally, I couldn't. 
I can't. I, I, I'm already stretched enough. I can't keep getting stretched. Um, so yeah. Um, other than that, like I said, my daughter is on summer vacation now. Um, husband has had the same bike in our garage for like a week or two now. It's just giving him a bunch of problems and he's got parts on order and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, not a lot going on here except for losing our minds and enjoying summer. It's been hot. It's been humid. Um, we didn't really have a spring, a transition. It just went from one to the other. Um, so yeah. But yeah, I hope everyone is doing well. Thank you so much for coming to hang out with me. Um, for my ladies who have won my last giveaway, um, I didn't forget about you. I just haven't made it to the post office yet. I apologize. I know one is going across the ocean and one's going to Canada. So um, please don't be mad at me. I just haven't made it to the post office yet. Um, and then my gift card that I used from Patricia, um, that I, a couple things that I ordered is on its way. So I'm excited about that. Um, I guess I'm going to get off here and hopefully try to upload this and go get my groceries and try to plant my flower beds. So I hope everyone is doing well. Um, I look forward to talking to y'all. I, uh, it amazes me every time that there's people that come back to hang out with me and I really enjoy it. It's always a nice way to just to show your support um, to a fellow, a fellow Stitcher. So until then, be safe, enjoy summer. Remember your mental health matters and to do something for yourself each and every day, whether it's stitching, crocheting, gardening, whatever. Um, so I will see you guys next time. Bye.